What's up bowlers? And welcome back to the Bowling Nights Garage Shop for another episode of Bowling Tats, aka Bowling Tips and Tricks with Joe Bowler. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at why knowing your positive access point is important and what effect it can have on your bowling ball layouts and motion. A pin up or pin down drill for one bowler can look and roll completely different for you based on your pack coordinates. So let's get right to it. Run ball run. That was pure. Alright bowlers, what is your positive access point? Your PAP is the point on a bowling ball that is equidistant from all points on the ball's track. Just like the earth spins on an axis, so does your bowling ball. Every bowler's PAP is different based on their release, axis rotation, and swing direction. This video will feature three of our Bowling Knights crew members. All our styles are very different, so you'll be able to easily see how our different positive access points have a big effect on layouts and weight block positioning. I'm Joe Bowler, and as you can see, I like to get in deep and swing it outside. My pap is 4 and 1 8 inch over by 1 8 inch up. Run ball run! That was pure. Our Lady Bubby likes to play a little further right and has more of a spinner release. Her pap is three and a quarter inches over by three quarter inches up. Nice shot, Bubby. Finally, our guy Bud is a one-handed no-thumber. His pap is six and one-eighth inches over by three-eighths inches down. The KOP. The ball we're gonna be using today is a lane one clear blue diamond. It's got a full-size weight block in it and it's got a clear shell. So we'll really be able to tell what's going on when that ball starts spinning. We use decals to denote the ball and layout markings. The large green circles represent where your gripping holes will be, so your finger and thumb holes. The small yellow circle is for the pin. The yellow circle with PAP shows where the bowler's positive access point would be, and the yellow RLB represents the mass bias marking of the ball. The PAP marking is always positioned straight up when the ball is on the spinner. This way we can see how the core is rotating based on each bowler's individual positive access point. For the first part, we're going to use the exact same pin high drill and hole locations for all three bowlers. Let's see what kind of effect this has on the weight block. Okay, so here we go bowlers. For me, this drill is 30 by 4 inches by 25. And as you can see, it causes the core to be in a very unstable position. This is a very high flare layout for me and something I would use on oilier conditions. Alright, let's start Bubby's ball with the same pin and hole locations. As you can see, the core is standing more upright. This layout based on Bubby's pap is 20 by 3 and 3 quarter inches by 10 and roll really early and not have much left when it gets to the hole. Finally, for Bud with the exact same pin and hole locations, this layout is 55 by 5 and a half inches by 35. And as you can see, the core is rotating more end over end. For him, this layout will get down the lane better than for us and won't be as aggressive, especially on symmetrical balls. Alright bowlers, let's take a look at all three balls in motion at once. You can really see the difference in each bowler's positive access point has on the core orientation. This is the same pinup drill for all three bowlers, but the reaction and shape they'll see on the lanes will be completely different. Pretty cool, huh, bowlers? Now you can see why that pinup drill your friend likes might not necessarily be the best layout for you. So now, let's take a look at what happens when you drill a ball based off your pap with the same dual angle layout numbers for each bowler. This time, we're going to use my personal favorite pin down layout, which is 50 by 4 and 7 8 inches by 65. This layout gives me good length with a controllable break point and plenty of pop down length. Okay, bowlers, as you can see, the pin placement and gripping holes are in completely different locations for all three bowlers. The pin on mine falls right below the middle finger. Let's start the spinner and watch the core. Okay, now based on these numbers and Bubby's pap, the pin is to the left of her middle finger. Let's hit the spinner and watch what happens. As you can see, the cores in both balls are now rotating the exact same way. Let's go ahead and start Bud's ball. 
Based on these numbers, the pin is now outside his ring finger, but as you can see, the core is in the exact same position as the other two balls. There you have it, bowlers. This is why knowing your positive access point and having your balls laid out and drilled based off of it is very important. Just because your friend or fellow bowler likes a certain pin up or pin down layout doesn't mean it's going to roll well for you. Knowing your pat will allow you to fine tune your reaction. It goes a long way in getting the motion on the lane you're looking for out of that new ball. Your ball driller should be able to help you find your pat or if you're a DIYer, you can do it yourself in just a few minutes. We'll be showing you how to do this in a future episode of Bowling Tats. But for now, there are several YouTube videos out there that do a great job of explaining how to do this. Alright bowlers, that's going to do it for this episode of Bowling Tips and Tricks. Hit that subscribe button on this YouTube channel and check out a few more of our other videos. Also be sure to join our Real League Bowlers group on Facebook. We have a great time in there. So until next time, later boys.